here you can smoke and drink. When they got that little marijuana, uh, here you can smoke and drink sign, it's cool because you can walk in there with your own weed and smoke. I've noticed that a lot of these red windows are closed here in this part of the city. Oh, there's one right there. They sell a lot of burgers and like these vending machines. Like you go in there, you stick your coins and you can get your burger and ice cream, whatever a croquetin is. Look, you can even rent one of these stalls. If you come here, there's a phone number. You can rent it for the hours, a couple hours or the day. An erotic museum. This here is a peep show special. Two euros for video cabins, two euros for private cabins as well. Look. Sex Palace, it says. <coughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful evening here in Amsterdam. Now, I actually filmed the video that you guys saw prior to this one earlier this morning. However, in between the time that I stopped filming that until now, it pretty much rained the entire time. So today was pretty much a scratch. However, I decided to hop on here and show you guys a little bit about well, what the city looks like right now in the evenings because it is a city that very much comes to life at night and well i'm going to show you guys the nightlife because it is a friday however do keep in mind that amsterdam is a pretty damn big city and i'm just showing you guys these city centers so that you guys can see like what the touristic areas look like in the nightlife right now especially after the world just got done suffering what it did because the tourist impact that was lost here in amsterdam is huge and you can definitely see it so join me for an awesome adventure now hopefully you guys enjoy this video it's going to be kind of like a city tour as the one i did earlier this morning however things are definitely going to look a lot different now and let me know how do you prefer the city yourselves after seeing these last two videos at night or during the day so to my surprise it's very common to see a lot of tourists walking around with uh suitcases and backpacks especially like in the old city center so i think a lot of people just kill time in between the time that they have to check in and check out of their rooms which is really really nice i've noticed a lot of people walk up into coffee shops and just sit down smoke a few jays and wait until their check-in or checkout time which is something i can definitely get down with i like it now this city is full of all kinds of small little alleyways and side streets that take you off into um, so many different directions. Lots of great restaurants. Wow, this spot is like one of those head shops that sells seeds, mushrooms. Here's another coffee shop. Wow, that one's popping. There's a lot of people inside there. Look, another uh, 420 Cafe coffee shop. What's up, bro? Yeah, definitely a lot going on. But it's definitely more of like a relaxed vibe. I don't see a lot of people getting like too crazy or... Um, actually, I haven't seen that many clubs at all, neither. Now you can tell they're starting to put up all of the Christmas lights, Christmas decorations as well. And I think that definitely adds a beautiful touch to all of these small streets. Now we're going to veer back off into this direction. I just wanted to show you how uh, much things can change when you just walk down a small alleyway. However, we're about to head into the, the Wallen area where I filmed the last video, which is like the most popular touristic uh, part of the city center. And that's also where the red light district is well the most popular one because there's a few throughout the city now last night as i mentioned it's a friday evening last night it was a thursday and the streets were just as full so I have a feeling that this is just a very busy city, especially here because this is like the Amsterdam uh, Central Station, which is like the most popular one in the entire city. So a lot of people that are traveling um, inner city or uh, inner rails between different countries in Europe all can get off here at the Central Station. And quite honestly, 
this is definitely one of those cities that if you plan on visiting um you know don't spend your whole time here you can definitely visit other beautiful cities such as the hague rotterdam um as well as veer off into other neighboring countries because the buses and the train rides are so easy i mean i'm going to brussels on a bus tomorrow and the bus is literally 20 us dollars and it takes two hours so if you're planning a trip to amsterdam like specifically to amsterdam i personally think that this city can be done within like two or three days you don't need more than that it's really just a lot of chilling coffee shops if you're into museums there's a whole lot of museums but other than that it's just good eating and chilling so if you have a little bit of extra time and you want to veer off into a neighboring country i highly recommend it because this is definitely one of those cities that's not worth spending like a whole five six five to seven days for a solo, solo vacation unless you really just don't want to do much then by all means now one thing you're going to notice a lot in this video is that there's tons of sex shops absolutely everywhere now sorry for the boring content here in Amsterdam as I mentioned a lot of people just really didn't want to see uh, the cameras in their shops or in their restaurants which is totally understandable it just makes it hard when you know you got to make videos for a living another sex shop another sex shop over here on this corner bars look here you can smoke and drink when they got that little marijuana uh here you can smoke and drink sign it's cool because you can walk in there with your own weed and smoke what is this a steak restaurant another little snack place oh i was here a few nights ago Yeah, definitely all kinds of stuff. Wow, look at this store. This this store right here, it says we sell absolutely fame, fabulous magic truffles. So yeah, the, the mushrooms and the weed are extremely popular here. However, I definitely haven't dabbled in the mushrooms now. The weed, you guys obviously know I sat down in a lot of coffee shops since I've been here. But the mushrooms, I've yet to try. And I probably won't be trying them to be honest with you guys. <laughs> Especially not just walking around solo. Like they got a ramen bar. So it seems to be like on these streets there's a lot of uh, like pancake waffle places. Also a lot of steakhouses. And of course a whole lot of weed shops. And that's pretty much what a lot of these um, streets here in the center look like. Now, something to keep in mind is if you're coming here to this city, you definitely don't need a rental car. I think if you got a rental car, it would just be more in your way than anything else and a pain in the ass. As I told you guys earlier today, the public transportation system is incredibly easy to use and also quite affordable, a lot more affordable than taking Ubers and you're going to get to your destinations a lot faster. So this alleyway is a little bit dead, a little bit dry. Give me, give me a check and let me know down in the comment section if you guys are still around at this point in the video because you guys are the real ones. I'm out here literally just making this video because I feel so bad for not showing you guys this city in the night. It's because it's truly special and it looks way different. However, I myself am a little bit bummed out that we haven't really had like any good um, interactions, any good conversations with the locals because that's what I love to have. However, it is what it is. Wow, look at how beautiful this view is. Absolutely incredible. Now, right now we're about to start veering off into the red light district of the city. And here it's going to be a little bit tougher to walk around with the camera so I'm gonna try and be as discreet as possible for this one now it is quite interesting right how some like 
some parts of the street are just so black so dark and then others are extremely well lit i find it impressing impressive oh we can't Wow, they're still running the canal boats right now. Let me give you guys a time check so that you guys can kind of see what you guys... Yeah, it's six. It's six. It's incredibly early. But it is nice to see that activities can be done at all times of the day. Now... One of the museums I wanted to go check out while I was here was the Anne Frank Museum. I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but I probably did because I've been extremely salty about it the entire time. Turns out you got to buy those tickets actually a month in in advance most, most of the times of the year. So please, if you want to experience the Anne Frank Museum, you have to book those tickets in advance or else you're just going to be hella salty like me and be like, damn, this is my third time in Amsterdam now, I believe, and I've only and I've never gone into the Anne Frank's house. What a bummer. But I mean, obviously spending your time in coffee shops ain't a bad idea neither. All right, let's veer off into one of these streets now um, towards a little bit deeper. Wow, it's starting to sprinkle guys. So this video definitely, be, definitely might be cut short. Now, this is another thing that I found extremely interesting here in the country is that here, they sell a lot of burgers and like these vending machines. Like you go in there, you stick your coins and you can get your burger and ice cream, whatever a croquetin is. But it's super interesting, right? I've never actually seen that system anywhere else in the world because it's not really like a vending machine. It's more like a, the best way I can compare it to is like a, it's like a PO box for a burger. Weird. Oh yeah, it's definitely starting to rain a little bit harder now. but here we go guys this here is the red light district well the most popular one here in amsterdam and it pretty much is all of this street and the next one and as you can see right now there's not any woman in those doors but that's where they usually stand and yeah they usually have like a little sign with their prices on the window as well some of them even have like signs of services that they offer. I walked one, I walked by one earlier today that said uh, vaginal, oral, and anal. So, yeah. Wow, it's starting to rain hard now. All right, let's give you guys a small little tour before the rain really starts coming in. But yeah, look, you can even rent one of these stalls if you come here. There's a phone number, you can rent it for the hours, a couple hours or the day. Oh man, everybody's starting to lose their mind because of the rain. Seems like all of the girls are off today. But yeah, as well as all of the little red windows, there's also bars, more restaurants. There's also like Casa Rosa where they do like a a live sex show that's extremely popular as, as well here they have like live sex shows they got um peep shows that's another one that's very common so you'll find a lot of that um on this street as well now yesterday i read their signs and they said that they charge 40 euro for the sex show so if that's something you're interested in there's the price but yeah I really like the vibes of this street. I like the way the little red lights shine in these small like canal streets. What is this? An, an erotic museum? Another sex shop. <laughs> And it is definitely active. A lot of people think that you'll see like nothing but like just guys in the red light district, but that is false. A lot of families walk by here as well. I feel like it's a very educational place to bring your children, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, just look at how many windows are down this street. Super impressive, right? 
Now this here is another museum, Red Light Secrets Museum of Prostitution. The world's first prostitution museum. Interesting, huh? So, probably a great, a great uh, place to step into to learn a little bit about the history of the red light district and obviously sex work, which is like, well, one of the oldest forms of work known to man. You know, you always hear that saying, but I don't, I don't really know who actually did those studies and how they did those studies to figure that one out, but more power to them. I've noticed that a lot of these red windows are closed here in this part of the city. Oh, there's one right there. What's across the way? Oh, they got light, pool, sky sports, a bar. Now these right here, surprisingly, these are urinals. I haven't actually used one, but I've seen a lot of people using them and they, they look, look quite weird, especially to be doing when there's families and like kids walking around. So here it goes, look. This here, has, this here is a peep show, special, two euros for video cabins, two, two euros for private cabins as well. Look, sex palace it says. <coughs> live show, live couples. Interesting, interesting type of um, place, right? <laughs> now I've noticed that there's also quite a bit of accommodation here, hotels. I can imagine they're probably a bit pricey, but definitely a place worth looking, staying into. That way you don't have to travel so far outside of the center to these spots every single day i mean it is incredibly easy to do i've done it the last three days but it would be cool to stay in a place like this i mean it's nice imagine just opening up the window and people watching you guys are like chris shut up this video is boring but i'm gonna continue yeah. anyway because i promised you guys earlier today that that's what i was gonna do so let's continue a little bit and if the rain continues then we'll just bring this video to an end here in the next few minutes but yeah let's walk around a bit more oh this here is another live sex show place and you can tell people love it I've noticed a lot of people enter those places as a couple as well so don't know how I would feel sitting in front of yeah, well, a show watching people make love to each other in front of a bunch of other people, but if that's your thing. <laughs> look at how calm these canals look like in the evenings. I mean, to be fair, they look quite calm during the day as well. Wow, oh, look at this. Look at the line for this live porno show. That's probably the most popular one. Looks like we bumped into a little bit of traffic. All right, we're cutting through this way. But yeah, look, this here is a, a live sex show and look at how, how full it is. Hmm. Might have to check one of those out, to be honest with you. Let me know, would you guys check it out? Okay, now, these streets right here, I think are gonna be a little bit tougher to walk down. But let's just try. 
Now those those little like small um, strips of windows are always the sketchiest ones to walk past, especially when you're making a video like this because I'm not actually trying to record all of them and show you. I'm just trying to show you guys the vibes. But a lot of them could take it the wrong way. And I was actually watching some videos of this area and I've heard of people like getting their asses whooped for recording videos in this part of the city, so. Yeah, definitely not trying to get my ass whooped for recording a girl that I don't even have any interest in looking at. But, yeah guys, this is what the city is looking like at night. I mean, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Was this worth filming? Was it worth documenting for you guys? Did you guys enjoy it? Let me know, because I'm definitely uh, interested in all your guys' feedback and it means the world to me. However, I wanted to share a little bit of Amsterdam with you guys because Let's be honest, this city is truly special, it's beautiful. And I know a lot of you guys tell me all the time that you might never have the opportunity to visit some of these places. So I feel like it's my job and it's important for me to share all of these adventures with you guys because it's because of you guys that I'm able to travel to these locations and see these places with my own eyes. So thank you guys so much for yeah, everything you guys do for me, for this channel, for believing in me, for giving me your continuous support. It means the world to me. Sorry I let you guys down with this content from here in Amsterdam, but better videos are to come, guys. We're going to Morocco pretty soon, and I probably could have just got skipped these two last videos, but as I mentioned, I think it's uh, super cool that we were able to enjoy this together, and that's why I'm forever grateful with YouTube. So. Um, yeah, for now, I'm gonna let you guys go because <coughs> <coughs> Oh man, I got a cough now because of that coffee shop experience, but I'm gonna let you guys know I'm probably gonna go back to another coffee shop to be real just chill enjoy the vibes But I figure it's probably a little bit better to put down the camera now and just walk around freely because I'm sure I already got a bunch of eyes that I didn't even notice while I was walking out here So for now guys, I'm gonna leave you with this view of Amsterdam Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon for an adventure from Spain. I'm going to Spain in a few days. Actually, I'm jumping the gun. I'm also going to Brussels in about two days. So I'll see you guys for another adventure from, from Brussels and then Spain. <laughs> Later, guys. You were always smarter.